Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Conor McGregor and Alexander Volkanovsky. All right, so here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC gold? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Volkanovski is five years the elder. McGregor will have a three-inch reach advantage. We send it inside Ladies the octagon, the veteran voice. This is, is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Alexander the Great Bonanoski. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. gets underway and you need to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5-2 player. 
And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Beautiful right hook counter. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. McGregor going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Well placed kick there by Volker. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so a nice connection there with the one-two for Alexander Volkanovsky, the former rugby league standout. It's amazing to think not all that long ago this was a man who weighed 214. I mean, that is massive. 214 pounds fighting at featherweight now. Could you imagine this? That he had to show in order to get to this weight class and do it pretty comfortably. He's not dying when he's walking to the scale. He's a pro pro and it's showing in his performances. Big punch land. Ooh. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Volkanovski. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He lands a switch knee. Oh, big right hand, yes. 25 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. Takedown defense holds up. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Just misses with that one. Got the single collar tie. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice knee. And a knee. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Both fighters throwing heat now. Effective punch there by Connor. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. But Gregor gets touched by that kick there. Head kick lands. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Man, how good is his right hook count? Switching stances here. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? McGregor's got the tie clinch now. Nice shot to the body there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Left hand punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, effective strike there by Volkanovski. Volkanovski's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, single collar tie here. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Big knee lands to the body. Hook to the head there by McGregor. Watch knees to the body. Caught that kick oh, there. Oh, well, just like he drew it up with us on Thursday. Catches the kick, counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job with that nice takedown. Great fight IQ, seeing that kick coming and turning it into his offense. 45 seconds to go here in round one. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. And he landed the right hand there. Big leg kick land. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition.
Right, a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes, DC, and big part of the narrative, those knee strikes. Those knee strikes landed, and they landed and did a ton of damage. You can see his opponent slowing down because he's taking so many of those knee strikes to the body. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Elbow now blocked by McGregor. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. So unable to connect on the uppercut. That's a big strike right there. Single collar tie now. Lands flush with that right hand. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, picks him up, DC! He's got him up. Great single leg. Oh. him down. You are a child. Boy, you belong to me. Imagine being able to pick up another man and oh. say, you go here, bro. You but go I, here. I can't. I know. I've done it before. Down, I've done it before. <laughs> the number's 91. Total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And DC pretty accurate as well, landing at a 54% connection rate thus far against Alexander the Great Volkanovs. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties. Oh, he caught the ball. He catches the leg here, and now he goes for the takedown. It's there. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a team. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do it, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in his fight against Max Holloway when he came to UFC Federal Champ. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice outside leg kick there. Oh, collar tie. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's full, oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added knees to his game, he became even better. That knee might have landed there. Oh, yet another beautiful knee there by Volker. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Ooh. We got a fight, folks. And just misses with that big right hand. Whoa! Back to the feet. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Volkanovski. Oh, nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovski. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that weapon. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kick for what got the belt for Max Holloway. He used that to slow back down, get him out of his conventional stance, make him fight in a stance that he's not used to. Volkanovski was able to walk away with the belt on that night. Liver kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice leg kick. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Big knee to the body. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. 30 seconds to go. Oh, 
McGregor's kick attempt, that one was blocked. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. McGregor gets caught with that punch. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. And they separate. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And then he lands a nice elbow. Volkanovski gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, yeah, right hand. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, he just ate a nasty elbow on the feet. Really nice elbow. He does a great job of mixing up all of his techniques. He's not only punching and kicking, he's willing to... Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. Volkanovski is looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, he's got his back now. Volkanovski's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work, my boy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Man, look at those numbers, DC. Have you even thrown 182 strikes in a fight? 182 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And landing with 56% accuracy. Pretty good. Against Alexander Volkanovsky. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Job at least staying upright on that. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Lands a strike there. Slips that left hand. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. So how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make them pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that you drop oh! Into the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.